Hello guys and welcome to my fall 2023 evening routine. Basically I'm in the middle of editing this video right now and I realized I never really did an introduction especially now that I went back darker. So if you follow me over on Instagram you stay a little more up to date with what's happening. So if you're not following me over there I'm going to have the link down below in my description box but I did go back darker for fall so I just wanted to address that before we get in the video. But if you're new here I would love for you to check out my channel if you enjoy it. If you enjoy today's video definitely consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and now let's get into my fall evening routine something we really enjoy doing every single day. And most of the time it's in like late afternoon, evening is jump on our golf cart and go for a ride. It's just so relaxing, so calming. We love doing it as a family. I will say Chase and Savannah will go a couple times without me during the day, just while I'm working, filming, editing, doing all that fun stuff. Um, but it is something we try to do every single day if the weather allows. Now I will say every evening looks different for us, but every evening is pretty busy, cram packed. Savannah's at dance multiple times a week. Most nights she has dance class. So you're gonna see in this video, it's just a lot of back and forth. It's just working when we can, cleaning when we can. So since I have some downtime, I like to get some laundry done. It could be Savannah's laundry, our laundry. Sometimes it's just blankets, um, just whatever it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that load. I will say most mornings is when I start like our clothing, if it's ours or Savannah's, unless I don't get a chance and then I'll do it during this time. But typically this is just my bonus load. So it's like the blankets around my house, it's the dog bedding, it's extra towels or my cleaning rags, anything like that that's like not always done often or with our other items. Um, this is the time of day that I'll throw those in. Now at this point, I know we're gonna be leaving soon and that's when like the hustle and bustle starts. So I wanna do a tidy up, just a clean up around the house. So anything that's like on our island or anything like that, I like to put it away. Also, um, Chase and I like to run errands while she's at dance. So I'm gonna be putting things by the back door, things that need to go to dance with her. Um, we also have library books that need to be returned. So I like to put it over there by our mudroom bench so we don't forget it. Now I do want to thank Jaws for sponsoring this part of today's video and just for supporting my channel. I always appreciate them so much and they're such a joy to work with. Their company is absolutely amazing. If you've been around here any length of time, you guys know I'm a Jaws cleaner girl. I have been using their products for years. I love that they're non-toxic. I love that you get to reuse their bottles and I've had the same set for so long and then you just get pod refills and refill them as needed. I'm going to show you right here step by step what you you do just in case you're new to these or you need a refill um, all you do is take that bottle and it actually has a line so you can see where you need to fill the water up to and then once it's done being filled up you just drop in your little refill and then you screw the top on and then that's the really fun part because you can see the product release into the water and it changes the color I will say I did my granite cleaner because that's what I was running low on and you can't really see it on the gray like you can like the purples and the oranges and the greens and all of that but it really is satisfying and fun to do um, savvy enjoys it too so all of their products are amazing I use every single one of them they're under every sink in my house which is several um, but this kitchen cleaner is amazing so if you get a lot of like grease and build up on your stove I feel like this just dissolves it away it takes all the scrubbing away so if you need something like that definitely check that one out 
Now, every night is different when it comes to eating. Sometimes we cook and then I clean the kitchen, but on this particular night, she's going to be at dance during dinner time. She gets a small break, so we normally just run up there, we eat in the car together, um, and then she goes back inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my kitchen clean before we leave since I know I won't be using it for the rest of the evening. Um, and I needed to work on my stove. Um, it had just gotten so dirty. I've actually been cooking more lately. I feel like as the temperature drops, it's just easier for me to cook at home. And you can see right here just how shiny and clean it is, and it did not take long at all. Now I'm gonna take the granite cleaner that you guys saw me fill up. I love this cleaner. It's always been one of my top favorites. I just love the scent. I love the gray, because you guys know I'm not into a ton of color. Um, it cleans my countertops so well. I actually have quartz countertops, and it works really well, and it works really good on stainless steel too, so keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna be using their glass cleaner, which is amazing. And this is just a reminder, like these are non-toxic products. You don't have to worry about using them around your pets and your kids, especially the bathroom ones when you're cleaning your bathtub. I just always felt so safe putting Savannah in the bath after I used their products. And JAWS mission is to eliminate the single use of plastic bottles. So that's why they do those refills, which is amazing. But this little wand is a tool you can buy from them as well. And for me, it has been a game changer. I don't have to climb on countertops anymore. I don't have to get like step ladders or chairs to clean windows. And we have really tall windows because we have tall ceilings. So if you're vertically challenged like me, or maybe you have just really tall ceilings or mirrors up high, or you can't reach all of them, definitely add that um, tool to your cart and you will thank me because it is so helpful. Now I wanna talk about one more product because it's incredible and you might need to add it to your cart if you don't own it already, but it's the Jaws Cream Cleaner. This stuff works miracles. It's so good on my sink if I get stains, if my countertops, um, like my quartz countertops get stains or scratches, it buffs right out. Um, it's really good in bathtubs if you have like stains or buildup in there. So if that's something you haven't tried out, maybe you have all the bottles, maybe you have all the refills, definitely check out that wand and check out this um, cream cleanser because it will work miracles. Here are just the bottles that I use today, but they also have like an all purpose, they have a shower, they have a bathroom, they have a disinfectant, all equally amazing. I'm just kind of showing you the ones that I was using today in my house, but they're amazing, amazing, amazing products. So I do want to thank Jaws again for sponsoring today's video, and I have a discount code with them. If you use Ashley25, you're going to get 25% off whatever you order. They have tons of bundles on there, and that's where you're going to get the best deal. So definitely check out their website. I'm going to leave their link down below. But this is where our night gets crazy. We're going to be taking Savannah to dance and running errands, and so you're going to start seeing what our evening looks like that you guys have never really seen before. Like I mentioned earlier, our evenings are crazy. So I dropped off those books. We're grabbing dinner since we don't have time to cook tonight. We're gonna eat in the car as a family, which I know sounds crazy, but we definitely just make our schedule work. And then she headed back into some more dance classes. Um, Chase and I head home on this particular night so we can feed the boys because it's their dinner time. Um, and I try to get some work done and things around the house before we have to head back out. I will say the boys know the routine so well. I always think it's so amazing how smart they are. Like I don't even have to tell them their food's ready. When we get home, they know to go outside and go potty and then they come flying in because they know we already have their farmer's dog food already in their dog bowls. And so they know to just come straight in and start eating it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch out some loads that I had started earlier this evening so I can let this dry while we're home. While we were out um, eating dinner, Savannah had a short break. And so she ran into like, almost like an antique thrift store in our town. And they had gotten some really cute like black tees. She's really into um, like band tees lately. And so we grabbed those. 
um, and I'm just gonna throw those in the washer because I know when she gets home she's gonna want to sleep in one of them plus I got one as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get that load started since we're gonna be home for a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and put that bag away and then I did a quick little shirt change I was getting a little warm and we were gonna be walking around our town waiting to pick up Savannah from dance because they were doing like a jazz and art festival that evening and so I wanted to walk around and not be warm but first before we headed back out I took George and the boys the tiger kind of stayed off camera he wanders around out there but I like to feed the fish it is so calming to me in the evenings we did this a lot while we were building we would come over here while Savannah was at dance class and chase would fish or I would feed the fish it's just nice standing out there and getting that fresh air and just seeing the fish eat I swear they can hear my footsteps coming like when I start walking you can see like the ripples in the water most nights that they're coming to me so we definitely don't eat them they're my friends they're my pets but they're just fun and calming to be around It's always hard to leave them but because of like our time schedule I always have to but the evenings that I don't have to like rush off I swear I could sit out there for hours it's so nice and Chase's grandma gave us a bench from her house so it just has so much meaning out there um, so I just love it being out there in that space but I'm gonna go ahead and go back inside what you didn't see is we already took Savannah to dance one more time <laughs> I didn't show that on camera um, I'm gonna switch the laundry again as you can tell it's not like a super busy evening but it's just a lot of back and forth it's a lot of just work when there's free time and get done what I can when I can The sky was beautiful on this particular night. I shouldn't say this particular night. That's just something Oklahoma has. We don't have a lot of things. We don't have mountains. We don't have oceans. We don't have all of that, but we definitely get just beautiful sunsets and I love getting to see them when I can. I will say the majority of my cleaning is in the evening time, even though that's our busy time. I really like mornings to be slow and calming. If I have to do a little bit of work, that's fine. But all of like my deep cleaning, like the kitchen and the floors and the laundry, I really like to focus in on the evenings. I feel like I just thrive more at night. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a tidy up again. I cleaned off the counters. Now I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors from the day because we've been in and out all day long. So I like to get those clean. Um, so that's what we're gonna work on now. An 
Another thing you're not seeing me do a lot on this particular night is working in my office. I'm gonna show it a little bit later, but most of the time when Savannah's gone to dance, if I can get home and get work done, that's when I like to get it done. So all my filming's normally done in the morning, but like sitting down at my desk and having to edit and do all that stuff, I try to do when she's outside of the house so she doesn't even know, and then we get more time together, we still homeschool her. Um, so it's all just a balancing act and making it work, but if I can drop her off and I know she's entertained doing something she loves, I'll run home and get a lot of work done, whether it's the house or if it's like YouTube, if I'm working on videos or brand deals. I think I get asked a lot on this channel is like, how do you keep your house so clean? I always hope by these like routines, whether it's a cleaning routine or like an evening or morning routine, you can just say I'm always staying active. Like I'm not a big reader. I don't have big hobbies. I really just love like tidying up my house, keeping it clean, picking it up, organizing, rearranging. And so that's what I'm constantly doing. When I have a break, I'm working on my house. So it's just easier for me to maintain it so it never just gets out of control. Having a house like this in the evening for Savannah to come home to after like a long day of dance is just important to me. It's important to provide it for Chase. I just feel like your house is like the state of your mind. Um, and when my house is crazy, I feel like we're all crazy. We can't find anything. We're looking for keys. We're looking for dance stuff. Like I just love that everything has a spot. Um, I love that we have routines built in place. So, I mean, of course we get scatterbrained. We're busy just like any other family but any routine that I can set in place just to make it a little bit easier, I do that. Right here, I'm already planning for my next day. So you're gonna see me, I get a notepad and pen. Chase likes to keep it on his phone. I'm just not that fancy yet. I like pen and paper and I literally mark off my list every single day. I plan my day the night before and then I mark it off as I go the next day. Just a little time update. It's 8.13 now. We're headed out for the last time to go pick up Savannah. So every night's different. Sometimes she's at dance even later. Um, sometimes she gets there even earlier. So like I said, every night's different, but for the most part, you can just kind of see um, how our routine works and how we just adapt to what we need to. When we're home, we push and get stuff done. Then when I am at the dance studio and I sit down and watch her dance, I'm not like panicking that I didn't get stuff done. I just try to work really hard when I can, so then when I take a break, I can take a break and enjoy that moment as well. So the day's still not done. I'm still gonna be working on laundry and anything else. But at this point, it's normally just like finishing up a few projects that I've already started. That way I can hear about Savannah's dance day, how it went, we can go over all her dances, if there's anything she needs. We can start talking about tomorrow. She likes to kind of plan ahead too and kind of go over like what is our day gonna look like. So we're all just kind of built in this routine um, of how it works. I also want to mention now that she's older and a teenager, she like brings me her laundry. So when she needs clothes, she knows to bring it to me. So it's ready to go. Like if she needs her Leo done, she knows to get it to me Tuesday night. So it's ready to go Wednesday. So if your kids are getting older, they can definitely help you out with those routines. So when she comes straight home, she gets in the shower from dancing all day. So that's where I can tidy up or finish up any of my chores until she gets out. And then we start going over the next day. In 
most evening routines. I show you like us closing the blinds and putting the house to sleep. I will say Chase helps me with a lot of that. So while I was doing the laundry, he had already come in here. Most of the lights are off. We leave a few on. He had also closed all the blinds. So we all just kind of have our chores and we tag team them together. I didn't feel like these blankets got dry all the way, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in just for one more round. And then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pajamas on and go relax. We watch a show and go to bed. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this evening routine. I hope it gives you just something that you can change in yours to tweak just to make your evenings go a little bit smoother. I do wanna thank Jaws again for sponsoring today's video. They really are an amazing company with amazing products. So don't forget to check out that link down below in my description box and you can use Ashley 25 at checkout to get 25% off. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.